in here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day or evening. Now, I've got a real, real problem with my favorite, one of my big favorite cacti, my Brasilia Pontia. Um, this is just really, really odd, guys. I've noticed the past couple of days, this horrible green, fuzzy-like mold all over it. Um, I don't know... I haven't got a clue what is actually causing it. Well, I have got a clue. I don't, what I mean is I don't know what's causing it. But the only thing I can think of, for the past three weeks here in Ireland, in November, the weather has been very, very mild. And on top of it being mild, it has just been constantly wet. I'm not joking, guys. It is raining. Now, I don't know whether the focus is on this. I'm just trying to show you some of the mold at the moment. Um, hopefully, you can get um, a bit of an idea what it looks like. It's like a dark dark green mold fuzzy mold all over the plant and this say so this has literally just appeared the past couple of days because i checked my plants this is in the conservatory i check them so regularly but because the weather has been so wet here in ireland just non-stop rain guys and i know rachel if you're watching this you'll fully understand what it feels like um it's just been damp but it's been very humid as well and the humidity obviously in the conservatory i don't heat the conservatory um, but it's been very warm in here and damp and without the sun the only thing I could think of the high humidity has caused this fuzzy horrible green mold all over this plant now obviously I'm assuming that's what's causing it um, but if any of you happen to know what else could be causing it other than that please let me know and drop your comments down below but um I'm pretty sure it's down to the high humidity in the uh, in the conservatory. So what I'm going to be doing to treat this, obviously, most molds, um, they're external. And I sometimes get black sooty molds on some of my ferrocacti. And I just wipe them off with a little bit of white vinegar on a cotton wool pad. And um, it comes off quite easy. And it, it doesn't actually harm the plant. And I'm hoping this is a similar thing. It's external and it's coming off when I've tried getting it off with a cotton wool bud. So... I'm going to be picking off as much of it as I can, but I'm actually going to be treating this plant, the whole of this cactus, I'm going to be spraying it from head to foot with um, a fungicidal spray. So if ever you encounter this, guys, and you get um, fungus attacks on your, on your cacti or other plants, uh, you know, you can peel it off to a degree, but I would recommend actually using a fungicidal spray. As long as it's safe, and I always recommend trying to go for an organic one if you can get one, obviously, because I never like using chemicals, they're, they're dangerous. But when it comes to this, it's something that has to be treated. So um, there you go, I'm going to be spraying this, and uh, hopefully it should, uh, the mold should go. And I'm probably going to be having to move this plant into my dining room, guys, because... Um, in the conservatory, you've got all this wonderful, wonderful space and this lovely big room, but it, it's just so damp. <laughs> so, guys, I'll give you an update on what's happening with it. And I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness. And I wish I could send you sunshine. So, guys, if you're in a warm, sunny country, send us some sunshine in Ireland. And what I can send you is loads of happiness, as always, from Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye.